today I am flying down to Florida for my orientation at UCF and I'm going to be bringing you guys along on that. So I have to leave in about an hour and a half, I believe, two hours, something like that, to head to the airport, but currently I am waiting to buy tickets to the Canadian Grand Prix for next year, so I'm excited about that. Yeah, so I'm going to bring you guys along to orientation, show you what everything is like, and I'm also going to buy my tickets right now. I have to say that travel day was not that fun, but we did make it. We're in our hotel now, finally. It's like 9 p.m. We left the house at 11.30, so it's been a long day, and especially for a flight that's supposed to be three hours, like, we got in late. So there were thunderstorms, and then our gate was full when we got here, so just, you know, I love those kind of things, so... <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow is going to go a little more smoothly. I did get a lot of reading done on the plane, so I guess that was a plus. I finished a book and got a decent ways into the next one, so I'm going to go to bed. I'm tired and I'm going to need some energy for orientation tomorrow. It starts pretty early. I'm not going to eat breakfast with them. I'm going to eat breakfast at the hotel, so I'll probably go maybe like around 8.30. I have to look at the schedule and... I'll figure things out tomorrow morning. I'm heading out to orientation now. I've had breakfast already, so I will not be participating in their breakfast. But here's the outfit. Got my backpack too, with my laptop in it and everything. So I'm gonna head out and we'll see how quickly I can convince them to let me register for my classes because my flight tomorrow is earlier and I have to leave before class registration. Orientation day one is complete and I didn't want to film too much because I didn't want to be rude to anyone So I kind of just filmed a little at the beginning and then I guess basically I'm going to be talking you guys through everything The morning sessions to be honest were pretty boring They were just basically an introduction to the school and I'm doing my orientation at the Rosen campus Just something to do with my major so I'm not getting the full UCF orientation experience but it is interesting to learn about um, the Rosen College. I've met a lot of cool people. Uh, I think everyone is going to be living on the main campus anyway, like for the first year. So if I do make some friends, then I would be able to see them um, a bit like in the next year. I've gotten some people's Instagram, so I've made some um, acquaintances so far. I did end up leaving in the middle of the day. I was a little worried that they wouldn't be able to feed me for lunch. So I went back to our hotel and had my own lunch. And then I went back and they had the study abroad session was pretty interesting. What were the other sessions? I don't know, just learning about like their services they have for students. They're like counseling, um, mental health services, like all of their groups for leadership and everything. Um, I did learn a lot about like their very specific programs. So the plan for the rest of the evening, I did skip a couple of sessions. Um, this evening just because I'm like I'm pretty done I'm not feeling that great you know and also I probably can't eat their dinner either so I just had to get out to get our own food and we do have some other stuff to do down here it is kind of a really really short trip actually so last time we got in at like 9 and our flight tomorrow is at 7 p.m. but we do have to we've got some things to do so we're heading up to do something for my grandparents, and then we're gonna go to main campus. My dad has not seen main campus yet. So we're gonna walk around there as long as it's not raining. If it's raining, then we're just gonna skip it. We also might take a look at my apartment if it's not raining. Um, I got a text today that said which apartment I'm gonna be moving into in three weeks, so that's exciting. I don't know how to find it yet, so we might not be able to actually see the outside. Yeah, I'm excited to show my dad the campus as long as it stops raining by then. And then we have to find somewhere to have dinner. Tomorrow is just basically much of the same. Let me look at the schedule. Breakfast, which I won't be going to, then the welcome. Um, and then hearing from the UCF police and then the internship stuff and then major advising. So hopefully something in major advising will be able to help me get my classes sorted. We'll see how that works out. Hopefully everything works out tomorrow. Because it's kind of tight. We've got orientation stuff all day, and then in the evening we have to go get dinner and then rush to the airport. Probably we'll have thunderstorms and have, like, weather impacts as well, so I'm hoping we don't get kind of, like, screwed over with weather and flights. So, that's a little summary of what's been going on, what will be going on tomorrow. So far, 
Orientation has been fine, a little boring, but I mean, what can you expect? That's basically what I thought it was going to be. Actually really interesting to see that there are people out of state, I think they come specifically for the hospitality program, which is not something I'm doing. So I think there will be a lot fewer out of state people actually on main campus. But yeah, I've met people, two people from New Jersey, two from New York, one from Ohio, one from California, um, one girl from Rhode Island who moved down to Florida. A lot of people from different areas, which is nice because I was expecting just people from Florida, which I think is something I'm going to encounter later on. Yeah, I'm going to check in with you guys later. We'll see what developments there are, if there are any. I finally made it back to the hotel um, after a day that felt like it was three days, but I just realized that I was a horrible vlogger and we went to my apartment and we also walked around the main campus at length and I did not film a single thing. I apologize for that. If you haven't seen the UCF campus, you should check out my accepted students day video. I video the campus a lot because that was my first time seeing it. So you should watch that if you want to see the campus. Once I move in and get comfortable there, I will be doing like a more in-depth campus tour. So look out for that. But right now I'm making dinner. We had to stop at a store because there was like no food. It's been a long, long day. So I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. It is orientation day two. I'm watching the practice one and only practice for um, the Belgian Grand Prix right now. So I might be a little late, but I'm gonna watch it. It's important to me. Um, I might have to wait to watch qualifying until we're at the airport because that's like right in the time. We're gonna be trying to do my course registration. Hopefully um, I can convince them to let me do it early because I have a flight to get, I have to get home. So yeah, I'm watching practice right now and then in 45 minutes we will head back to orientation um, they should just be finishing breakfast by the time I get there so that should be fine so I'm done with orientation now and we're heading to Disney Springs to walk around and get some food before our flight today was I feel like way more valuable there was one about the internship opportunities which I guess wasn't like it is important like it's a part of Rosen they are like internship one two and three um, and then like how you can go about getting those. Then there was a presentation from the police department which was really good because we were talking about like different safety stuff that they have in place. And then like the most important one was like the advising session so we were talking through all of the like major requirements and how class registration actually works and how it'll work in the future like outside of orientation. That was a long session but we had a lot of information so I'm really glad that they had that. I will be able to register for my classes at 3 p.m. no matter where I am. So I'm thinking about the boathouse or we did already have lunch so I guess we didn't have to have that but Aaron McKenna's, Salt and Straw. I was talking about orientation now I'm talking about food again. I can tell you more about orientation later maybe once I pick out my classes. It is a little annoying because having an orientation this late a lot of the classes are full and they gave us a printout of what's not full and it is pretty slim so I'm gonna have to be flexible and then just keep looking back because things do change people will get in and out of classes so I might just want to like get on a wait list for something yeah I'm gonna figure it out after Disney Springs wrap up about orientation. I've had some time to recover. It was a long two days. Um, it was a little boring too. I think like my only feedback really. Some of the sessions were a little boring and there weren't enough people there. You know like with a lot of people there's a lot more energy. Yeah it, it got a little quiet at times but I am glad that I did my orientation at Rosen as opposed to the main campus just because I was able to see the same I don't know how many people there were there maybe like 40 50 people over and over again so I was able to meet some friends but overall it was pretty fun um, it was a lot of information to take in basically you're just sitting there for hours and hours and they're talking to you they did have some interaction which was great a lot of the like presenters would ask for questions or for just for our input in general other than that though it was good I'm getting very excited to move down there I'm 
leaving in like two weeks so that is crazy and I'm gonna be sharing everything with you guys so make sure to check back on my channel if you are looking for some more UCF content there is going to be a lot coming up very soon so I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me to orientation um, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more UCF content and I will see you guys later bye